Well hello there folks, this is Arun Thakur and you are watching War Attack and today in this video, I will be giving you the review for the Lineage OS 15.1 for the Moto G4 and G4 Plus. So sit back, relax and let's get started. For the Lineage OS 15.1 is based on Android 8.1 and it is pretty near to stock Android but with little bit of customizations of their own. The ROM is pretty smooth and you will not face any kinds of lags and hiccup here and there and as this ROM is based on Android 8.1 you will see that it will theme itself as per your wallpaper and this ROM brings new features like you can pull down from anywhere in order to get your notification panels and you can pull up from anywhere to get your app draw. Now the launcher on this ROM brings pretty new stuffs like icon shape, notification dots but some cool feature is that you can choose if you want to enable the feed integration that is the google feed integration page it's as per your need. Being a custom ROM lineage OS 15.1 brings a little bit of customizations which are present in settings system and here you can see you can customize buttons and you can customize the virtual buttons and even the power button you can choose between these three options like screenshot and once you have enabled it you can see it on your power menu and just like that the list goes on similarly like the buttons you can also customize the status bar now in status bar you can customize the system icons in which you can choose which icon you want on a status bar moving further you can see that this also has a section for the moto gestures now this rom features moto gestures like flip to do not disturb etc etc now if you are a moto g4 plus user you can enable this option and use fingerprint as your home button which is very helpful let's talk about the moto gestures shall we the double twist to launch the camera apps work pretty fine and fabulous but you will have a problem with the chop chop to enable the flashlight it will enable the flashlight but it turns off immediately this will be fixed in the upcoming further update now the best thing about the lineage os rom is the options for the privacy and this is available in security and privacy in which you can enable a password and click on an app which you don't want anyone to sneak in and steal your data now the lineage os 15.1 brings some pretty visual changes like the icons have been redesigned and made colorful and materialistic now the file manager on this rom is pretty exciting it behaves just like the whole os like remember when you applied a dark wallpaper and the whole os was changed to dark theme just like that now i have applied a dark wallpaper and the theme of the file manager was dark now once I apply a light wallpaper the whole device will change itself to a light theme including the file manager. Now the launcher on this ROM has been updated and it has been integrated with some of the pretty cool features like you can choose if you want the feed integration and you can also choose whether you want to keep the feature to swipe down from anywhere to open your notification panel like i have enabled it and i can use it now once i disable it i will not be able to use this further i think i will keep that feature it's pretty good moving further we can see the option for the notification dots the notification dots are nothing just the dots which will appear on the app which have a notification you can also choose between some new shapes which have been added to this launcher and you don't have to use any kind of icon pack for your icons now android 8.1 introduced us with a new ambient display and you will have no re complaints regarding the ambient display it works pretty fine routing this rom is pretty easy but when it comes to customization it becomes pretty annoying and you will find out when you try customizing it the battery life on this rom is pretty amazing and it gave me about 6 to 7 hours of on screen time without any issues but with ulti enabled all the day and with pretty intensive gaming and video playback you will get around 4 to 5 hours of on screen time without any issues now for the final conclusions can this rom be used as a daily driver 
I would say yes because I've been using this ROM for months now and I hardly had any lags any issues but if you are into customizations you will face some random reboots at times but if you are not into customizations you want a stock look and stock experience this ROM is as good as stock ROM so this can be used as a daily driver but it depends thank you guys for watching please like please subscribe and do share it.